Alright, what's going on guys? Luca here with another monster build. Again, we're Magicka Dragonite with a Oak and so Wamba build. Since this juicy mythic item is not nerfed yet, I will keep posting some nasty PvP builds. But don't worry, I will upload some 2 bar builds soon again. But let's talk about this bit first. It's based on our ultimate, Corrosive Armor. What exactly does Corrosive? It gives max penetration on each target on direct damage, so it empowers Molten Whip or Spammable. This thing hits between 8 to 15k plus with Corrosive up. It also empowers every light and heavy attack and initial dot hits like Engulfing Flames, which are used to empower Whip for another 6%. It also limits our incoming damage by 3% of our max health. We are around at 30k HP by the way. Let's say you would get hit by an incap for 10k plus. With corrosive up, it would only hit you for around 900 damage. It's by far the strongest PvP ultimate in this game. No surprise that this thing is mostly banned from the most dueling tourneys. I basically used every heroism resource like major heroism which we get from the Oaken Soul Ring and minor heroism through the heroism potions, even if they're super expensive but definitely worth it for this build, combined with the set Akavir Dragon Guard which reduces the ulti cost by 15% plus potentates for another 15% ulti cost reduction. On top with Bloodspawn as monster set for extra ulti region. My corrosive armor uptime is around 80 to sometimes even per map, so 100%. Depends on how many targets I kill this time. It's just ridiculous. Closer look on the build. I'm on 5 heavy and 2 medium. 5 impen, 1 well fitted and 1 sturdy. Full prismatic glyphs, like always. Full infused on the jewelry with two weapon damage glyphs and one magicka recovery. Definitely needed, otherwise, hard to sustain. And two swords as weapons dual wield, nirm and precise, flame and poison damage glyph. Why two swords? Simple. We already have max penetration with corrosive, we don't need maces. You could go with axes, but swords are more viable in my opinion. Quick look on the skills, Engulfing Flames for the 6% extra flame damage to empower Molten Whip. But you can also go with something else like Flames of Oblivion, Burning Embers or Venomous Claw. Then Race Against Time, our Snare Removable and for Minor Force, another 10% extra crit damage and Major Expedition. The most important skill in my opinion for this build. Since we don't have a back bar, we need something to uh, to be able to kite around against multiple targets, even with corrosive armor. Not viable if we just enter against 5 6 targets. Then Mortal Whip or Spammable, Shattering Rocks, SCC, Undodgeable, Unblockable, Super Powerful, and then Coagulating Blood, our Burst Heal, and Corrosive Armor as Ultimate. Race on Dunmore. Fires the weapon spell damage and Magicka stamina. Best race would be probably Imperial for another cost reduction, but Danmo works fine too. Mundus the Atronach for extra Magicka recovery and Clockwork Citus Flea for more Magicka recovery. I've tested the Tricet Food Sugar Scouts and also the Vora Mundus, but then you will be instant out of sustain. So definitely needed the Atro and the Clockositus Filet and the Magicka Region Glyph. Attribute points 49 in Magicka and 15 in Health. Potions, like I said before, mainly the Heroism Potions. If you don't have enough gold, just go with the normal Tricer Potions. CPs, Deadly Aim, Mastered Arms, Iron Clad and Dual Sweep Buff, Sustained by Suffering, Pain Refuge, Celebrity and Slippery. Here we go again with some gameplay footage, thanks for watching, have a nice day, do your thing, sub my channel, leave a like and a comment below, I would really appreciate it guys. Like always, I wish you a fantastic day and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Peace.